The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. A month ago, Floridians were on high alert after two convicted killers were mistakenly released from a prison in the Panhandle because of forged release forms. It sounds like it's just, it's a big, big mistake. It's, it's just not right. Now, lawmakers like Senator Rob Bradley want answers behind the big mistake. I will tell you one thing. Uh, it is embarrassing uh, for uh, all of those who were involved because uh, it's unacceptable. Monday afternoon, officials with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Clerk of Courts, and the Department of Corrections were meeting with lawmakers. Corrections Secretary Michael Cruz says they are working to make sure this doesn't happen again. We've got to make sure that we're all working collectively together because ultimately, this was a public safety issue. DOC has 40 people across Florida looking to make sure there are not any other fraudulent escape cases. After the two killers were released, DOC enacted new rules to make sure felons did not wrongfully walk away from state prisons. Before we release any inmate, uh, that we will uh, ask the judge to authenticate that order was valid. Several hearings are scheduled this week. Lawmakers say they're going to keep asking tough questions because at the end of the day, they say the escape was a public safety issue. We in the Florida Senate are uh, particularly outraged uh, about uh, what occurred and uh, that's why we are having these hearings. Lawmakers say after the meetings, they will be able to gauge what all needs to be enacted to prevent a similar situation. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.